What's up guys, my name is Matt. Well met. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a run of the Achaney Crypts, guys. So Achaney Crypts is um, one of the Auchendown instances in Burning Crusade, guys. And let's see, where's my tank here so I can get some misdirects going. This first big room here um, is just full of mobs, and it used to actually be pretty messy. Sometimes groups would actually wipe on this first one because it's just so many mobs that are kind of patrolling, and there's basically two huge packs, but everybody's kind of so overpowered now that it doesn't really matter anymore. So once you clear this first big room, if you do have a non-BOA group or non-BOA tank, um, just uh, kind of take it easy on this first pull. Okay, we're going to go through the quest here as we get rolling. First quest is to kill Exarch Maladar, which is the last boss, guys. Next one is just to kill the Dread Watcher. Okay, so where did I go? Uh, Chaney Crips. You've only got these two quests in the beginning. You're going to get another one about halfway through, and then I'll show you guys where that is. If you are an herbalist, you will find Ancient Lycan in here. If you are a miner, you will find um, Adamantite nodes, uh, Fell Iron nodes, and every great once in a while there is a Corium node in here, which is a rare spawn of Adamantite. Let's see. Somehow we pulled this group back over here as well. Anyway. Now we're trucking along pretty good. Okay. I haven't, I haven't skipped that group before. It didn't look like you can skip it. Okay. Note to self. You guys will see I'm making this run on my Beast Mastery Hunter, which is the class that I'm hoping to main in Shadowlands. Hopefully they don't change the class in a worse way. Um, I've had that happen before. I played BM Hunter in Legion and I despised it in Battle for Azeroth. A lot of Battle for Azeroth. I ended up playing Fury Warrior because of that. So hopefully they kind of get me back to my favorite, which is the BM Hunter. I'm an animal lover and uh, if I can play BM, I'll really enjoy it. So we're going to head up the stairs here, guys. All of these mobs, if they're near where you're attacking other mobs, they'll aggro. But other than that, they won't. Okay, once you clear this mob pack, guys, there's going to be a quest giver that's slowly going to walk out back here named the Tormented Soul Priest. You guys, make sure you pick up that quest before you advance after this mob pack. Okay, right here. There's the first node that we've got in here. A little extra XP and money from that. Patrol right here, it's gonna go back and forth and then there's a patrol on the other side on the stairs too. As you guys run through this corridor, you guys are gonna see that um, these little red non-elite mobs will spawn, kind of like sentries, they're not a big deal to kill. Good there. Yeah, there's a sentry I told you guys about. 
clear this mob pack, and then we are on to Shirok the Dead Watcher. This guy used to do some AOE damage around with the melee, but now he's not really too dangerous. Somehow my pet must have taunted, so he's dead. Let me get him back up. There we go. Second quest there. Shariah the Dead Watcher. He's off the map. We just have Exarch Maladar to go. Now you will get this quest called Raging Spirits. That's the one that we got from that... Uh, that lady that was wandering over there that we got the quest from. What is going on back here, guys? Everybody's good? Okay, looks like everybody's good. Remember I said the boss does some AoE, so it looks like we had a member go down. Um, so for this one, um, you're going to kill Angered Skeletons, Raging Skeletons, and the Necromancers, which are all going to be up ahead anyway, so not a big deal, guys. Easy day on those. These are the quest mobs in question. In Wrath, people used to come back up in here because Corium is still ridiculously expensive, like anywhere between 500 to 1,000 plus gold per Corium ore um, because of the rarity. And so because these two adamantite nodes were um, held in a certain place where other people couldn't farm them, people would come in here in Wrath of the Lich King and just run through here just to get the possibility of a Corium node. So, not sure that's the best way to make gold anymore, but there's a lot of other ways, as you guys know. I'll be making some gold making videos too as we get rolling here. Work your way through the skellies. Hey, you're good with all of the angered and the raging skellies just from there. And you guys are going to see that the necromancers are up ahead. you got to go through them anyway to get to the last boss. Okay. Doing good there. Try to bring this aggro over to the tank. So on all these skellies, the necromancers are the big drain eyes that are in here, these guys right here. There we go. I was worried that the tank was going to skip him, but luckily he went and grabbed this guy so we can get the uh, quest done. I was going to pull him even if he didn't, so... <laughs> So that quest is done. 
literally all you guys have left to go is this guy. Now, if you kill this guy super fast, then um, you won't have really time to make a copy. If he makes a copy, you'll have to kind of kill through his hit points twice, guys. So he's going to make a copy of himself at some point. Just try to burst him down. Prevent that so you don't have to kill through it. <clears throat> now, this is one of the few instances that you guys are going to have to run back through because <clears throat> that first quest giver is um, is in the middle. So I think I'm going to port out and then port back in and then just turn that in and then run to the middle and turn the rest in. I think that'll be the fastest, guys, but we'll see. Because see, even though it's dead, you still got to finish this dude off. Hey, loot him. That's done. Pour it out. Okay, as soon as we get out, we're going to pour it back in. Okay, turn in. One and two. Okay, now we're going to run through. Back to that middle part, guys, to turn the other quest in. No, this is like boring parts of the video, but this is it's intended to be a guide um, as much as I can make it for new and returning players. So, um, or just for anybody that enjoys these kind of videos. So I want to kind of show everything that you might have to do. Oops, I did not use my speed increase well there. I ran right into the little light or pylon or whatever that thing is called but here is the room turn this in and be good to go a little over 12 minutes to complete the Achaney crypts fun little dungeon okay that's it guys 12 21 to complete the crypts i hope you guys liked the movie if you did please like and subscribe to the channel trying to grow it and help as many players as I can, and hit the little bell icon so you can get notified when I drop a future video. Thank you guys for spending the time with me. This has been Matt from Light in the Darkness, signing out.